Hi, and welcome to our time of reading from the Children's Bible in 365 Stories. Today we're starting with chapter 3. Chapter 1 had God creating. Chapter 2 had God adding people, Adam and Eve, and placing them in a garden. Now we're going to look at chapter 3 called The Tempting Fruit. It begins this way. Nothing could spoil the happiness of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Or so it seemed. But there was one person who was plotting to spoil all that God had made. It was a snake. The snake was trying to question how things were, how they should run, how they should be. That snake, who was considered the most cunning of all the creatures in the garden, whispered to Eve as she and Adam were standing near the tree in the center of the garden, the tree in which God, in the second story, had said, you can eat of anything in the garden, but don't eat of this tree. It's for your betterment that I do not want you to eat of this tree. And the snake whispered to Eve, did God really say that you must not eat any of the fruit from these lovely trees? Of course not, Eve replied. We can eat all the fruit we want, except for just that one tree over there. God says that we must not eat that fruit, for if we do, we shall die. That's not true, said the snake said softly. God knows that if you eat that fruit, you will be as wise and as clever as God is. That is why he told you not to eat it. God didn't want you as wise and clever as God was. Eve looked with new eyes at the delicious fruit that hung in clusters from that forbidden tree. How lovely it looked. She imagined how good it would taste. Then she thought how wonderful it would be to become as wise as the snake had promised, to be so wise that in some ways she'd be kind of like God. Wouldn't that impress God, that she showed she could make herself even better than the way God had created her? Then her mind made up. She quickly picked one of the tempting fruits, bit into it, and handed it to Adam to try as well. And he bit into it as well. But instead of feeling clever and wise, they both, Adam and Eve, both felt miserable and ashamed. They had disobeyed the wise and loving God, who was their creator and their friend. Remember, God walked with them in the evenings after the end of each day. And here, God had requested them to not eat from this one tree. They ate from it thinking it would make everything better, and instead they felt awful because they realized they had betrayed their friend. When evening came, they did not hurry out to meet God. They were ashamed because they had disobeyed God. They picked some large leaves to try to cover their bodies and then hid silently in the bushes. Every other evening, they had eagerly waited for God's loving call. Now they listened in fear for the well-known sound of God's voice. At last they heard him. Where are you, Adam? God called. With downcast eyes, they crept out to meet God. They no longer wanted to see God because they felt bad about what they had done. What a powerful thing to think about. God wasn't putting restrictions there to make our life bad. God was putting the restrictions there because God knew what was best for us. And here, when told by the snake that, oh, this will make you more like God, Instead of trusting God, instead of trusting the God who created them and said, I like you, I like you the way I've created you, they doubted. They didn't trust God. 
and they made the choice to eat the fruit they weren't supposed to, thinking that they could impress God, could make themselves look better in God's eyes, instead of simply trusting the God who already loved them, loved them the way they were made, loved them for who they were. They doubted and didn't trust and chose to eat the fruit. And now they're struggling with even coming before God, realizing they had broken a relationship with a friend. They had broken a trust with a friend and didn't know if they'd ever be able to walk in the garden in the evenings with God again. And they are struggling. Important story. And there'll be more pieces connected to it that for us to think about and remember. So think about this story and we'll get to the next one soon that connects with this one. And have a good day.